In this video, I'm going to build a DUI, no. Oh boy, I got a whole lot of projects going on, like I'm trying to fix this tape machine right here. But in the meantime, what I wanna do, what I've always wanted to do is I, I do a lot of teaching here. I make a lot of videos, not just for guitar players, for producers and all kinds of people that are interested in making music. To make these instructional videos, it would be better if I had a dedicated ISO cab, because sometimes I, I'll put the you know amp in that room, but it's not really a room, it's all open and it's, it's too loud. I have two possibilities. I can somehow go through the floor, which was my first choice, non-destructive and put an amp or a cab down there. And this is a cab that I built. It's kind of horrible, but it's also kind of great. To watch the video about how I built this cab, click here. This is just a speaker that I had laying around for years. It was part of a, of a trade I made or something. And I built this cab around it. I know it's ugly and I was gonna change it, but it sounds really good. So I never, I never, I just kept it ugly. What's cool about it is that it's crazy light. It resonates really, really well. And I can put this anywhere. I don't necessarily want to build like an ISO cab because I want to be able to place a mic back. I feel like ISO cabs build up weird frequencies. I want to put this somewhere else. So the other possibility is I could put this in a place like, <coughs> I could put this maybe, you know, all the way here in this sort of area. But to do that, I need to run a really long cable. For that reason, I bought a super long power cable. Well, it doesn't look that long though. It's only 50 feet. It looks like it's 20 feet. Cause I have a head over here. I'll show you, I got the soft tech head. It's a cool head, it's fun. It lives down here, but it doesn't get enough use because I'm never sure like where to put the cab. That would be really convenient. I could control it from here. I could shoot my, my videos here. I could have that cab far away so it's not bleeding into the, the sound all the time, which is tough for editing. So that's today's project. That's the project I'm gonna do right now. Valentine's Day is coming up, y'all. Do you love someone, but not enough to write them an original song? Why not cover a love song and release it to the world using DistroKid? DistroKid makes it super easy to record your favorite cover song and upload it and release it. They handle all the licenses so you can focus on recording, producing, and getting it into your lover's arms. DistroKid, we know that there's already too many love songs already written. You can't write one that's better. DistroKid, so just cover one. DistroKid, DistroKid, and now for the big reveal. DistroKid, you wanna get a discount on DistroKid today? You can use my sign up link below and get 7% off. That's right, use my special VIP link below and you will get 7% off DistroKid. So why not record a cover for your lover that doesn't make them feel smothered? Or maybe you could do one for your mother or your brother. DistroKid out. So for the idea of going through the floors, what I've been doing is examining places where there's already electricity and finding the little holes and things like, like there's one. And then going downstairs and being like, okay, where do these holes exit? There's no insulation on the top there, which sucks because it's cold. Could it come down in the middle here? I don't see any holes, which makes me think that the cables are going to here, but then they're running all the way to that panel. So they're running across the ceiling, which is inconvenient. The other idea was to go through the air ducts. I kind of blocked them up when I did the insulation job. So I kind of screwed myself over by improving insulation because this exit up here inaccessible. I'm gonna look around and I'll let you know what I find. Will this 50 foot speaker cable not only reach, but will it sound good? It doesn't look long enough. It's definitely long enough. <laughs> Let's first see if it sounds good. I'm so dumb. I need a microphone cable that'll also reach. I guess I could connect two together. Two microphone cables become one. Ah! Will this even reach? Maybe I'll need three. Holy crap, it's getting crazy. Current situation around here is, it's not a room, it's just the top of the stairs. So this would probably be a pretty good place for the cab. Let's clear it out. Club soda, tons of club soda all the time. Garbage, xylophone, baking soda. One issue I can already foresee is that ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this room does ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's not that bad, but it has, you know, there's a sound to it and it's, there's a wall right there. So it's gonna bounce right against this wall. Maybe I'll abandon this idea and go back downstairs. I don't know. This is absolutely cranked. Horrible cable running all the way. I know you're gonna say a Kemper would solve my issues. I'm, I'm sure it would. I'm sure that'd be the most elegant solution, but I refuse. 
and we're getting there. Well, I really don't love that. My plan is to run the cables up there, which I also don't love. I mean, I wish I could just go straight through the floor, but I realize that no matter what, the amp cab is too loud. It's going to come through. So I got a plan here. Cab was way quieter down here. So I think what I'm going to do is clear this out, stick the cab in there, make it even less noisy. Okay, so volume-wise, it's really quiet. It's I can hardly hear it, just barely. Now I'm curious what it records like. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm having an issue. I can't hear my daisy-chained guitar cables. Uh, one of the cables was bad, so I actually found a longer cable, and I was able to reduce from three cables to two. All right. Oh, Made in Voyage. Let's see what it sounds like. These strings are absolutely disgusting. They're, they're rusty. These are like Civil War era strings. They're barbed wire. I only play an E.